Hi class, welcome back to our channel. For this video, I will show you how to solve right triangles. Okay, so pero bago yun guys, uh, reviewin muna natin ano bang ibig sabihin ng SOKATOA since ito yung gagamitin nating formula sa pag-solve ng ating right triangles. Una, we have SO. Yung S dito guys, ang meaning yan is SIGN. So, yung ating O and H, that's the opposite and hypotenuse. Okay? So, meaning we have sine theta is equal to opposite over hypotenuse. Okay? Then, for K, that is cosine. And yung A and H natin, this is adjacent and hypotenuse. Okay? So, that is cosine theta equals adjacent over hypotenuse. Then, for TOA, that is tangent equals opposite over adjacent. Okay, so ito yung tatlong formulas na to is very useful guys in solving right triangle. So, let's have example number 1. Solve the right triangle STQ if angle S is equal to 42 degrees and S is equal to 15 so, una yung gagawin guys is observe nyo muna yung parts ng ating right triangle. So, since na kay T yung ating right angle, meaning yung small letter T dito o yung ating side T is the hypotenuse. Okay? Then, since ang given angle natin is yung S, so, siya na lang yung ating reference angle. So, in terms of S, yung kanyang opposite is yung small letter S. Tama? So, lagay na natin na yung small letter S is yung ating opposite side. Then, then yung Q, that will be our adjacent side. Okay? So, after natin ma-identify yung ating opposite, adjacent, and hypotenuse, pwede na natin ngayon isolve yung ating mga unknowns. Unahin na natin si S. So, dito guys, as you can see, is ang given natin is yung 15. So, that is uh, S equals 15. So, gagamitin natin to guys to solve for T and Q. Okay? So, unahin ngayon natin isolve si T. So, si gamit yung ating 42, si S natin is the opposite, then si T is hypotenuse. So, meaning, para masolve si T, ang gagamitin natin is yung so. Okay, so we have sine 42 degrees equals opposite, which is 15 over hypotenuse, yun yung ating T. Tama? So, to solve for T, guys, uh, i-apply na lang natin yung property natin in solving uh, e equation. Di ba? So, pwede natin ipag-swap na lang to. So, that is T equals 15 over sine 42 degrees. Okay, so since same lang naman yan. So using our, our calculator, so that is 15 divided by sine 42. So that is T equals 22.42. Okay. Next is solve naman natin yung ating Q. So si Q guys is adjacent side ng ating S. So, using S, we have opposite, then adjacent. So, ang formula natin dyan is yung o, may, yung o and A, so that is tangent. Tama? So, tangent 42 is equal to opposite, which is 15 over adjacent, that is Q. Okay, so pag swap na lang natin yan to solve for Q, that is 15 over tangent 42 degrees. Tama? So, same lang naman yun guys. So, using your calculator, that is 15 divided by tangent 42, which is equal to 16.66. Okay? So, so na-solve na, na natin si T and Q. Next is yung Q naman dito. So, para ma-solve yan guys, uh, since given naman yung isang angle which is 42, 
Then, meron tayong right angle which is 90. So, para masolve natin si Q, gamitin na lang natin yung formula na Q plus S plus T equals 180 degrees. Since ang sum ng measures ng triangle is 180. So, angle Q plus S which is 42 plus 90 yung ating right angle. So, solving for Q, that is 180 degree. Then, lipat natin yung 42 and 90 sa right side. We have negative 42 degrees minus 90 degrees. Okay? So, ngayon, final answer natin. We have 180 minus 42 minus 90. That is 48 degrees. Nakuha, guys. So, let's have example number 2. Solve the right triangle BCD if B equals 12 and D equals 16. So, again, una, identify muna natin yung different parts ng ating right triangle. So, si angle C ang ating right triangle, ang right angle, so meaning yung opposite niya which is side C, ito yung ating hypotenuse. Okay. So, since wala naman tayong given na angle, so tayo nang bahala mamili kung ano bang una yung isa-solve. Okay, so pwedeng angle B muna or angle D. So, unahin na natin si angle B. So, gamit si angle B, guys, as, as you notice, yung given sides natin ay 12 and 16. Okay, so in terms of angle B, ang kanyang opposite is yung... 12, then si 16 is yung kanyang adjacent side. Tama? So, to solve for B, ang gagamitin natin dyan is yung may O and A, which is TOA. So, that is tangent B equals opposite, which is 12, over adjacent, which is 16. Okay? So, tangent B is equal to 12, Divided by 16, that is 0 0.75. Okay, guys? Then, to solve for B, ang gagawin nyo lang dyan, guys, is kunin nyo lang yung uh, arc tangent ng 0 0.75. Kung baga, para matanggal natin yung tangent dito, i-reverse lang natin yan. Kunin nyo yung arc tangent ngayon ng 0 0.75. Okay? Okay? Then, using your calculator, guys, the arc tangent of 0 0.75 is equal to 36.87 degrees. Okay? So, ngayon, nakakuha na tayo ng isang angle, which is yung B natin, 36.87. Pwede na natin ngayon makuha si D by using the formula B plus C plus D equals 180. Okay, so ang B natin is 36.87 plus C which is 90 since yun yung ating right angle then C D is unknown. Okay, so solving for D that is 180 minus 36.87 degree minus 90 degrees. Tama? So, nilipat lang natin yung dalawang angle dun sa right side. So, ang angle din natin is equal to 53.13 degrees. Nakuha guys? So, ngayon isa na lang yung unknown natin which is yung side C, yung ating hypotenuse. So, gamitin na natin yung angle B natin which is 36.87. So, using the opposite and hypotenuse, masasolve natin yung side C. Tama? So, kung meron tayong O and H, that is so. So, meaning, pwede natin gamitin si sine B, which is 36.87 degrees, equals opposite, which is 12, over hypotenuse, which is C. Okay? So, again, pwede natin pagpalitin yung pwesto niyan, guys, to solve for C. Shortcut na lang. So, 12 divided by sine 36.87 degrees. 
Okay, so using your calculator, uh, pakidivide na lang yan. 12 divided by sine 36.87. So, ang sagot natin dyan guys is uh, 20. Okay? So, ang alternative method to solve for the side C is yung ating Pythagorean Theorem. So, kung mapansin nyo, pag ginamit nyo yung ating Pythagorean Theorem, we have the same answer. Nakuha ba guys? Next is example number 3. So, find the value of x if y is equal to 65 and angle x is equal to 70 degrees. Okay, so this time, isa lang yung pinapahanap, which is the value of x. Okay, so ito. So ngayon, identify mo natin yung mga parts ng ating triangle. So meron tayong angle y, which is 90 degrees. So meaning, yung opposite niya, ito ngayon yung ating magiging hypotenuse. Okay, then may isa tayong given angle, which is 70, yung ating angle x. Then, kung mapansin nyo guys, yung ating opposite side na unknown, which is x, is yun yung opposite ng ating angles. Okay? So, meaning, para magamit natin si 70 as our reference angle, uh, gagamit kukunin natin yung formula ng merong opposite and hypotenuse. So, that is so. Okay? So, we have sin 70 degrees equals opposite. Ang opposite natin is yung unknown over hypotenuse which is 65. Okay? So, to solve for x, just multiply both sides of the equation by 65. So, maka-cancel to guys. So, ang x natin is equal to 65 times sin 70 which is 61.08 Okay? So, ito na ngayon yung ating final answer. So, this is the end of our video. I hope uh, may naiintindihan kayo guys. So, if you have questions or clarifications, kindly put them in the comment section below. So, thank you guys for watching. This is Prof. D. I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye!